Hi everyone, I'm really sorry about um, last week. How about those weeks, I just ran out of time to do all the things that I wanted to do. So um, I really do apologize. I hope you're okay, I hope you're doing okay. I hope, uh, I imagine that many of you now are double jabbed and um, you know, um, hopefully uh, I can get back to church. And if not, then you know, let me know and I'll certainly come and see you. We've just had uh, year three in. We've had um, a couple of really good classes this week. And uh, we're in the week when we're reflecting on the Holy Trinity, you know, that the, I get really excited because from, you know, from the very sort of early uh, moments of Advent, when we're kind of looking forward and then, you know, uh, we celebrate Christmas or, or we would if, we, if things hadn't been so COVID restricted. And then we sort of built to Lent and then Easter and all those things. And we've just had the Feast of the Ascension, the Feast of Pentecost and, and, and kind of Trinity, which is a, is a culmination of all those things. And um, the reading on Sunday is the reading of Nicodemus in John's Gospel, who sort of sneaks in the middle of the night to come and ask questions. And Jesus sets a challenge for him, um, you know, that um, you need to be, you need to be born um, from above. You, you know, if you're going to live out your faith and and you're going to immerse yourself in God, then you need to be um, born from above, or as some translations have it, born again, um, which has obviously become a translation that's been used in different ways. So that being born from above or born from again becomes the kind of theme of our week. And how are we going to use our knowledge of the Trinity to live out our lives in faith? And I think, you know, through this last year, in, in practical ways, I think that the Trinity has been powerful. I mean, I think back to last spring when um, we were in lockdown, and if it wasn't for my walks in creation each day, I think spiritually, uh, emotionally and physically, I think I would have really struggled. So the, the tangible nature of God's creation really lifted my spirits each day. And then the, the story of Christ, which we journey through, and although last year we couldn't do Easter together, although I came in here on my own on Easter Sunday morning, I think at times Scripture really does encourage us to to lift our eyes. And um, we've, we've done so much together by Zoom and recording and everything, but it's all been around that story of Christ. And each Sunday another step in that story about you know his teaching which really encourages us to live in God's love to be to be born from above to immerse ourselves um and then obviously you know last Sunday the coming of the Holy Spirit well it's been the Holy Spirit that has guided us all the way through and kept us going and you know and in in the church to be imaginative in the ways that we have engaged with people and I think that's the Spirit's touch and hand on our lives so to have the children in here, you see that fly going around, to have the children in here this morning talking about the Trinity was a real privilege to talk about that mystery which holds um, every element of our faith together and, and guides us through. So um, sat in here in the church today, um, in a week when we have our annual meeting, in a, 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 when we, a week when we give thanks, a week when we immerse ourselves in the Trinity, it's really good sometimes just to stop. I said to the children, just to be still and um, look around. What's, what's, what's the things that strike you about this place? They, 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 they talked about the age, they talked about the kind of, some of the quirky elements in the church, but when you come and sit in any one of our three churches, you, you have that wonderful sense of God, that wonderful sense of the God who holds us and sustains us and loves us and is with us always on the journey that we make. So um, the thing that I want to say more than anything this week, that we have to, yes, we have to keep the Trinity as a mystery, but we also have to allow the Trinity to practically work out in our lives. How we use creation in our world. Do we support everyone using the abundance of God's creation? The way that we are inspired by God in human form in the stories of Jesus and how those stories encourage us each day. And then, as I said to the children from the school, you know, the Spirit opens our hearts and our minds to God. So 
The Spirit helps us to love outwardly, to think outwardly from ourselves and engage with the world which we're in and to engage with the church and with one another. So um, we're getting closer, I feel, to normality each step. My Abby was um, jabbed yesterday, so locally they're jabbing now 20-year-olds. So we're on on a very important journey together. Not not done yet, lots lots to go, but but it's really good. And, and to remind ourselves of how the Trinity helps us, engages with us, and um, holds us, inspires us, all those things, sets our hearts on fire, helps us to shine as a light into the world. They're all really important things. So I wanted to pray today um, for you, um, give thanks for you, and pray that God's Holy Trinity will inspire and encourage your faith as we journey on together in this pandemic. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we encounter you in three very important ways. We encounter you as the God who creates out of love. We encounter you in human form in the stories of Jesus. And we encounter you each day as you open our hearts and our minds to the outpouring of your love into the world in which we live. So Lord, inspire us with your creation. Inspire us with the stories of Jesus and inspire us with your love. And help us, Lord, to be your people. and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you ever so much, everybody, for joining me for my midweek vlog. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amazing, wonderful God that we have, which we encounter in three very distinct and important ways. I'll speak to you next week. God bless now.